This is lesson three from our series, How to Play Guitar. This series will take you from an absolute beginner to being able to confidently play songs. In this lesson, I'm gonna teach you the string numbers and note names in standard tuning. I'm currently working on the corresponding How to Play Guitar e-guide. The e-guide will include all the charts and diagrams for this series, as well as bonus lessons, bonus resources, and much more. Plus, I've decided to offer you this e-guide completely for free. To learn how to get your free copy of the How to Play Guitar e-guide, click the link on the screen or look in the description below. So, like I said, I'm gonna teach you the string numbers and note names in what's called standard tuning. And standard tuning is the most common way you're gonna come across a guitar and how you're gonna tune it. There are other types of tunings, but this is called standard for a reason. This is the most common way. And everything I'm gonna be teaching you in this series is based in standard tuning. And most of the lessons you come across, even more advanced lessons, are gonna be in standard tuning unless they're teaching something specifically in another tuning, which is much less common. And knowing your string numbers and note names are super important. It's one of the first things to learn and something you're always gonna need to know, but it's especially important because you need to know this to tune your guitar. And I'm gonna teach you how to tune your guitar in an upcoming lesson. And without this knowledge, you won't be able to tune your guitar. So first thing first is that there are six strings on a standard six string guitar. There are 12 string guitars and guitars with other numbers of strings, but six strings is the most common by far and what you should be learning on it as a beginner. And the first thing to understand is that this string right here, which is your thickest string, is your sixth string. And this string down here towards the floor, which is your thinnest string, is your first string. So a lot of beginners get confused about that and call this their first string because it's closest to their face. But really this is the sixth string. It's lowest in pitch and it's the thickest string and it's called your sixth string. So this is your sixth string, fifth, fourth, third, second, first. Those are what I mean when I say the numbers of the strings. So now I'm gonna go over the actual note names of the strings. And the note names just refer to when you strike that string without holding any notes down with your fretting hand. So if I was just to let go, strike a string, I just struck the sixth string. That pitch that it creates is a note and that note is the name of the string. So for example, this sixth string, if I strike that again, that's an E. So the sixth string is an E note. The next string down towards the floor, which is the fifth string, if I strike that open, that's an A. That's an A note, this is called the A string. The next string down towards the floor, which is the fourth string, if I strike that open, that's a D. It's a D note, it's called the D string. Next string down towards the floor is the third string. If I strike that open, that's a G. It creates a G note. Next string down towards the floor is the second string. If I strike that open, that creates a B note. So this is the B string. Next string down towards the floor, which is the first string, I strike that open. That's actually an E as well. So it's the same as your sixth string. That's an E and that's an E, but they're what are called different octaves. And we'll get into that in the later courses, but it just means that this is a lower pitch than this, but they have the same names. So every note you find on your sixth string when we get into playing notes on the fretboard is the exact same, it's mimicked on the first string. So again, it's your sixth string is E, your fifth string is A, your fourth string is D, your third string is G, your second string is B, and your first string is E again. And there's a little device you can use to memorize the note names, and one that I always use is elephants and dogs grow bigger eventually. There's other ones like Eddie Eight Dynamite, Goodbye Eddie, and I've heard quite a few others, but for some reason I've always used elephants and dogs grow bigger eventually. So E for elephants, A for and, D for dog, G for grow, B for bigger, E for eventually. So for practice, just memorize your string numbers and note names. Like I said, it's super important for everything you do on guitar and as a beginner, it's super important because like I said, that's how you're gonna get your guitar in tune. 
So those are the number of the strings and names in standard tuning. In the next lesson, I'm going to teach you how to choose a pick and how to hold it. So thanks for watching and be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and keep moving forward.